What is up guys and girls, my name is The Giving Note, and before we get started, 4,000 subscribers guys, I'll be giving away a mic, uh, it's a USB mic, uh, so you gotta be able to uh, deal with that, but uh, here we go, this is it, this is the mic right here, this is the VC Master 1610, alright guys, a full review will be coming out pretty soon over this mic, uh, yeah, but uh, in order to get this, all you gotta do is just subscribe to me, and comment down below saying that you want it or just do something creative and I'm gonna pick the very best comment that I like when I reach 4,000 subscribers also really soon uh, I'm gonna be giving away this mic and a preamp uh, this is the MXL V67G that's an XL XLR mic and I'm gonna be giving away a preamp with that uh, that's whenever I reach 6k okay guys so uh, be sure to share this video with everybody you know all right and Maybe you can like tweet that to me just to show me and I'll give all some extra points whenever I give away out something and I'll uh, I'll keep that in mind when I when I'm giving away the mic. That's what I was trying to say. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the tutorial today. Today's tutorial is gonna be over XXX Tentacion and his song Justin Flores. Uh basically what we're gonna do is just play the song. And it's gonna sound kinda off because the beat wasn't really um the beat wasn't on point, alright? and I couldn't find the key to the song, it wasn't matching up for me, and uh, it just sounded bad. But uh, I tried my best, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just show how it sounds, all right? So let's go ahead and check it right about now. <coughs> testing, testing, one, two, and three. All right, guys, so here we are in our project file. Uh, this is my version of Justin Flores, okay? So let me go ahead and just play it for y'all. All right, so here we go. Three, two, one. I know you somewhere, somewhere. I'm trapped in my mind, girl, just holding on. I don't wanna pretend we're something we're nothing. I'm stuck. Some things can't change So it's at the same time I'm saying Pick up this in the bed Get a phone call Girl, they fuck what killed herself That wasn't summer When nobody helped And ever since then I hate myself Wanna fucking end it Pessimistic Oh yeah, I'm fucked up I'm really tripping Not really, but I'm gone gifted yeah. Alright, so there we go That was my version Alright guys So let's go ahead And jump into the effects They use to record on Or the effects That you record with Okay I always fuck I always messed it up. <clears throat> All right. Whoa. Okay, so here we are. The first thing I always do is a fruity parametric EQ number two. All right. What this does is just eliminate all, or what we're going to do with this is just eliminate all the low cut or lows in your vocals. So we're going to do a high pass filter. All right. So I cut it like around 255. That's a lot, guys. So you might not want to do it that much, but it's up to you. I cut it around 255, you could cut it like around 180 hertz, it's all up to you. And then we do a vocal presence for our second parametric EQ. We do vocal presence right here, preset, and just click that, that's about it. Now we move on to our compressor, uh, I forgot to set the ratio to 3.1, but that's what it is, 3.1, or 2, whatever. Uh, gain set at 12.3, that's about it. Auto tune or auto tune. I, I didn't really know the key of the song. It wasn't really getting. Um, I couldn't find it in my other program, so I set the key to A minor and retune speed about 14%. Humanize all the way up to eliminate that uh, that robotic -y fill. Okay, and I did flex tune correction style. I don't know what that means, but it, but it just sounds like it. All right. So as for a limiter, you don't have to have that one. So I replaced this with nothing. And uh, this one, we just do a limiter and uh, lower the ceiling down to where it sits like right above your vocals. So you don't want it to be too loud or too low, you know? So uh, yeah. Now we have our sound goodizer just to make ourselves stick out in the song. Uh, I click it, it's gonna be A and about 15, almost 20%, I guess. And that is about it for those um, 
for the vocal effects, okay? So now we're gonna move on to the chorus where it sounds like this. I know you somewhere, somewhere. Uh. All right, so what you do is you record the verse, or not the verse, you record the chorus, okay? And now you hear my AC in the back, all right? So you record the, you record the chorus, and then on this first chorus, or the first time you record it, I can't think of what I'm trying to say. Uh, you pan it to the left, all right? About 25%. This is the left, about 25%. And then you record it again. And on this one, you, you send this to the right. You pan it to the right about 25% to where you get the sterilized effect. Otherwise, it's going to sound like this, okay? So look, here we go. I know you somewhere, somewhere. Like, that doesn't even sound that bad, but it doesn't sound uh, as wide as it should be. So, let's go ahead and revert what we just did. And uh, let's see if it reverted. Nope. Whatever, just go ahead and move this to the right about 25%, okay? I know you somewhere, somewhere. All right, there we go. So it's really wide, and uh, yeah, that's it for the uh, for the chorus effects. And uh, for the verse, it's really simple. Okay, guys. Uh, actually, let's move back on to the chorus. Uh, where is our master track? Here we go. So whenever we get our chorus out, you want to track it and go ahead and throw on a reverb. Here's the reverb settings that I use for this song. Uh, wet down all the way, or like. I don't know what that is, but just copy the settings. It's like around 30%, 31%. And the K time, just right there. Size, it's a pretty big size room to have the reverb. And that's about it for that reverb, okay? And on this limiter, I just use it as a noise gate to cut down the background noise. So all they do is do a preset noise gate, that's it. And it takes out the background noise for my vocals. All right, so let's move on to our verse track right here. I'm a pain, wanna put 10 shots in my brain. It's probably kind of low. I probably should have hired that uh, volume up a little bit, but, you know, it's all right. This is not a mixing tutorial. This is how to get the effects that he does in the song. And uh, so let's move up to the verse. Let me just move this out. Uh, all I did was on this verse is I applied the sound goodizer again to make it pop. Uh, I used the A and I moved it about 45 or 35%, whatever that is, I don't know. And again, I used limiter uh, to cut down the noise in the background, again, which was a noise gate right here. So that's the preset. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So, yeah, uh, maybe y'all can do this and tell me how, uh, you know, you sounded with these effects on. And, uh, yeah, so... If you enjoyed this tutorial, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and come back for more. Or uh, also leave some tips down below on who for me to do next. Uh, and yeah, also share this video, guys. I'm trying to blow up here, all right? And, uh, you know, if you do that, I'll help you out and I'll give you all a mic. Not everybody, but the people that I pick out. I'm going to be giving away this mic, like I said, at 6,000 subscribers. This is an XLR mic. And I'll be giving away the fucking, or I'll be giving away the preamp. Sorry about that. I can't be cussing on this channel, all right? So, uh, yeah. I'll see y'all guys in the next video. And, uh, peace.